So in the last part of the stepping through parameter series, I'm going to show you how to do a special kind of AC analysis. Here we have what is called an RLC resonant filter circuit. So a voltage source goes to a series resistor R and then leads to an LC tank to ground. Now how does this circuit work? As you might know, a capacitor blocks DC and passes AC. So in other words, it's a high pass filter. It blocks DC, which is 0 Hz, and passes everything that's higher. An inductor is the opposite. They love DC, but they hate AC. Hence we can call this a low pass filter. So if a signal travels down the resistor, it comes across the LC circuit. The capacitor loves higher frequencies, so it grabs it all and shunts it to ground. The inductor loves the lower frequencies, so it grabs that all and shunts it to ground too. On the right, I separated these two circuits. As you might remember from a previous video, these are just two first order passive filters. So if I probe the low pass filter, you can see a descending curve, and as I probe the high pass filter, it goes the other way. But here's the interesting part. Depending on the values of the capacitor and inductor, there's a certain frequency they both love and hate equally. This is called the resonant frequency. And this can be seen when probing the full filter. Apparently it's about 1600 Hz in this setup. To determine the center frequency of the filter, use the formula 1 over 2 times pi times the square root of the inductance times the capacitance. But now we're going to a scenario where we know that we want a resonance frequency of 1 kHz. We also know that the capacitor is 100 microfarads, but the inductor value is unknown. So without using math and formulas, how do we find out what the inductor value is that we need? What we're going to do is tell the AC analysis that we're only interested in one frequency. So we set it to a list with 1 kHz as frequency of interest. Now we're going to set up the step function. I already set it up for this example, so let's check it out. But first I have to set the value of the inductor to L1 inside brackets. Now the step function sweeps the value for L1. I decided that I want a linear sweep, and because the center frequency is lower than in the previous example, I know that the inductor value has to be higher. So I sweep from 100 microhenries to 300 microhenries with steps of 1 microhenry. Now when I run a simulation, an interesting plot comes up. On the y-axis there is gain, and on the x-axis there are inductor values from 100 to 300 microhenries. It seems like we found a peak too, and with the cursor, we find out that it's around 250 microhenries. This means that with an LC tank of 100 microfarads and 250 microhenries, the center frequency is 1 kHz. Let's prove it by putting these values in the formula. So, 1 over 2 pi times the square root of 250 microhenries times 100 microfarads equals roughly 1 kilohertz. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to change the horrible default hotkeys to the ones I use to make working with LTSPICE a breeze. See you then, bye!